Hi guys, it's Alex here and welcome to Taming Desperado. Now I've caught a wild I've caught a wild mouse and I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but the name Desperado sounds pretty cool. Right? So hopefully I'm gonna be able to tame it and raise it as my own pet. Now let's see. Right, it's currently in here, but you know what? Let's see if it will be willing to come out and be my friend. So, this is a cage here. As you can see, it's a nice wee setup. It's quite cosy looking. Got some food, water, a wee house, and a wheel. Now, I was able to acquire this um, for a reasonable price. Um, it's not the biggest of cages. I know a mouse will need some more room than this, but. Hopefully, it'll be happy for now. So, first of all, I just need to put this in here and I'll open it up and hopefully Desperado will crawl happily out. But he'll probably jump up and attack me and I'll probably die from this. And I'm sorry guys, if you see my death. So hang on a sec again and I'll be back in a, wee, a couple of seconds. Right, so I've now put him in the cage. Now, here we go. Here's a wee guy there. Hello. Hey, yeah. What did we do there? He's, he's really tiny. I didn't know how small he'd be. In any way, but he's quite a cute wee guy. Oh, he's quite stink. He's he's been in there for quite a while, I know. So he's a bit funky looking. Close this. Hopefully, he cannot squeeze through here. In fact, I think he might be able to. So I'm going to, need to turn you off, and I'm going to, need to be right back. So, hang on a sec. No, oh, please don't be able to. Oh my word. So, yeah, I'm back again, right? I'm a bit worried about the cage. He's a bit smaller than what I thought. I don't know if I'll, I'll probably need to get something different, but he's a wee bit, obviously, since he's wild, he's a bit scared at the moment. Hopefully, he'll just get relaxed and he'll be able to move around freely. But. There he is. You can probably see his feet there. If I come up out here. There he is in there. You can see him. He is a bit scared right now. I know that. And I feel bad for him. But obviously, I could have let him free in a field. And I didn't want to because if I let him in the field, who knows if an owl will swoop down and get him. I really want to help him out. So hopefully he won't stay like this. 
Otherwise, we'll need to let him go. But here's hoping. Here's hoping he'll come around, eh? Right. I'm going to see if I can work on him. But yeah, guys. Any tips, hints, let me know. And I'll do the best for this wee guy. Thank you for watching.